I'm here for the interview at 2 p.m. Jacob Dylan. Right. Please come in. You're a bit early. Four minutes and 53 seconds to be exact. Picky, aren't we? <laughs> Part of the job. Please have a seat and we will call you when we're ready. Thank you. So, has there been lots of applicants? You could say that. But I have a feeling about you, though. Uh, uh, how, how long have you been working? Long enough. Do you like it? Yes, I do, actually. That's good. That's nice. I wish I had a job to like. Not with that attitude. What do you mean? Let me put it to you nicely. Stop playing the victim card. Easy for you to say. You're able body, nice smile, pretty face. I bet you just walked in here and they gave you the job right away. Not able bodied. I have scoliosis. And this nice smile and pretty face, it comes from believing in myself. Believe? What's that? It's when you know something exists or something is true without having to see it physically. And how do you do that? Fall in love with who you are and what you have. What if you don't have anything? You do. You just refuse to see it. What do you see in me? I see a scared man afraid to live life. I'm not scared. Oh, yes? Then tell me. What do you want out of this life? A good life, I guess. Don't guess. Be sure. Well, we are ready for you. Welcome, Jacob. Like my new office? Isn't it colorful? <laughs> I'm Rick Kazan. Uh, interviewer. You come when we least expected you. Uh, excuse me? Well, we didn't expect you to be available so soon. Well, I was available. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? Please, have a seat. Thank you. Some water if you'd like. I have your resume. I can see all your accomplishments and achievements. Yeah. But I want to know who Jacob Dylan really is. Sure. I'm going to be asking you some questions which may be unconventional in an interview. <laughs> Are you going to ask me about my sex life? No, no. Good, because I have none. I'm sorry. So, how's your life? My, my life? Good, I guess. Are you happy with your life? Am I happy? Um, yes. I mean, certain things in my life could be happier, but overall, I think I'm in a happier place. I mean, a happy place. What about your life are you happy about? Wow. You're oozing with happiness. Let me rephrase the questions. What would you change about your life that would make you happier? Uh, I would have both my hands for starters. How did you lose it? Accident. I was saving a little girl from putting her hand inside a machine cutter. And so my hand got cut. Noble. Didn't expect that. What else? Sir, with all due respect, I don't think I deserve the sarcasm you're giving me. What do you deserve then, Jacob? I deserve to be treated with some decency. Fair enough. But I'm only thinking what you're thinking. Why do you want this job, Jacob? Because I need it to pay the bills. Will you die if you don't have this job? No. So you lied. You don't really need this job. Uh, I, I do. I mean, if I don't get this job, I'll just apply for another job until I get a job. What's your biggest fear, Jacob? Not to be loved. Do you love yourself? I guess. You guess. 
How can you save other people's lives if you don't value your own? Ask me the question. Do you love yourself, Mr. Kazan, sir? Of course I do. I'm sexy, funny, smart, charming, and damn do I have a sexy beard. <laughs> now, Jacob, do you love yourself? Yes, I do. I'm nice, I'm smart, I'm kind, I have hair. Why should I hire you? Because I'm good at this. Good at what? I didn't even tell you the job profile. You have lied to me in the past two minutes. Twice. Are you a compulsive liar, Jacob? No, no, I'm not. Do you just say things to please people to get what you want? Fine. I say those things because I wanted to impress you. Finally, some honesty. Why do you want to impress me? Who am I to you? Because you are the person who, if I give the correct answers or impress, you will give me the job. Aren't you sick and tired of always trying to please people? Of course I am. But this is how our world works. Is it? Or is it how your world works? I don't know. How's that going, Jacob? Trying to always please people, kissing their ass. Good. You have a lover? Good friend? Property, money, career? Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's why you're here, correct? That's obvious. So why should I hire someone as depressing as you? Give me one good reason. I like the morning breeze. That's a good start. I like Thai food. Thai food, yeah. Whoa, who doesn't? I like jazz music. Calms me down. I like the smell of grandmas. <laughs> grandmas? Do you know a lot of grandmas? Uh, yeah, I mean, I work in a shelter, so... I used to work in a shelter. Uh, as to why you should give me this job, honestly, I don't have an answer for you. Now we're getting somewhere. So what else? A lover, maybe? Maybe. Well, for sure, I mean, I would like a lover who would love me unconditionally. And why can't you get one? You seem to be a decent guy with decent looks. I'm, I'm just too afraid. I've seen too much human uh, unkindness in this world. Fear is a constant theme in your life, isn't it? What would happen if you face your fears? Poor little Jacob. You're so afraid of life that you numb yourself to indecision. What would happen if you face your fears? I'll get over it. Wow, look at that. You grew balls just by being in my presence. <laughs> tell me, tell me more things that you love. I like to drink a hot cup of chai when it rains. Oh. Um, I like uh, comedy, like a good comedy that makes me laugh. <laughs> I, I like Latin and Indian women, I mean, they're beautiful. I like to watch the sunrise and sunset. How are you feeling now? Much happier. Uh, thanks. And you're still single. Look <laughs> at that. It's true. It's true. So hand, lover, what else? Family, I guess. Family. Like you want to have a family or you want to reconnect with your family? Both. Both will be nice. You're an orphan, correct? Yes. How, how did you know that? Research. So who raised you? Uh, I didn't know her name. We just used to call her auntie. If you can say anything to her, what would you say? Thank you. I love you. Do you think she would be proud of you? Why not? I mean, come on, look at me. I'm 28, homeless, no prospects, handicapped. When you were 15, didn't you save a boy from drowning? Yes. How did you know that? Research. That's commendable. Thank you. 
but I'm wondering what kind of research tells you what I did when I was 15. I have my connections. When you were 22 years old, you saved two girls from getting raped and you got beaten up in the process. Is that correct? Who are you? Are you the CIA or some shit? As I said, I have my connections. What kind of connections? The ones that you won't believe exist if I told you. Try me. Okay. I don't exist in your time and space dimension. Are you high? Yes, very. Who are you? I'm Rick Kazan. There's no Rick Kazan in the afterlife directory. How do you know? Because I did my research. <laughs> Smart boy. I work in the in-between department. In-between department? We recruit people who are tired of their lives. I'm not tired of my life. Really, Jacob? You're not tired of your loneliness, constant struggle, lack of opportunities that you've been complaining about? Well, I mean, yes, I was, but as you made me see, there are many things in my life I could be grateful for. Well, that's good. But we don't want you because you're happy. We want you because you're miserable. <laughs> I mean, we work in an insurance company. All of us are miserable. <laughs> so why did you ask me all the things that made me happy? To make you see what you're going to lose if you accept this job. The job is yours if you want it. There's a small cost though. Your life. Towards the job this way. What's funny? It's funny. I only start to appreciate the good things in my life just when I'm about to lose it. Sometimes you have to travel far to appreciate what's new. See you, Jacob. <laughs>